Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of move to loveland.com. Hello Loveland. I'm here at the iconic railroad station in downtown Loveland. And I'm here with Scott Fair and Brandon Fair. So Scott, uh, tell us a little bit about your company and uh, how long you've been in business, that kind of stuff, and, and how you got this job and why you're here working on this building. Uh, yes, uh, I've been in business f for about 25 years, I've actually been painting for 37. Um, kind of built a business on quality craftsmanship, uh, good worth eth ethic, and com uh, very attention to detail. Uh, we strive to make our customers 100% satisfied, and we take that commitment very seriously. Does uh, your your son have those same qualities? Absolutely. Yep, uh, I have the same exact. He, he was a good uh, person to learn from. He's taught me hard work, uh, strong work ethic, and mm -hmm. to do the job right the first time, make sure the customer's always satisfied. So. Uh, you're working on a um, hundred I think I said 117 year old building that is pretty much looks just like it did when it was built there, there were some renovations done on it but uh, the old black asphalt roof was taken down and the terracotta was put on maybe 10 years ago uh, but tell us what it takes to to work on an old building like this and how you're going to help be part of this history preserving this history for Loveland. Okay, so basically um, there's a lot of prep work on these older buildings. Uh, that's the most important part on a painting job is getting the prep right. Um, a lot of window glazing, scraping, caulking, um, and then also we use Benjamin Moore products which is a great product for interior or exterior surfaces. Um, so that's kind of what we'll do here with this one. Scott's been contracted by the owner, Martin Schickel, and I'm going to share some history of the building uh, from Martin, and that'll be in the story so you all can hear more about the history of it, because it's pretty significant. Scott, you do commercial and residential. You said it's mostly residential, but, but tell us about the commercial jobs that you've done recently and drop some names, because I think people will like to hear those. Okay, great. Yeah, we both uh, do residential and commercial, mainly residential, um, but we also have a great customer from Kenwood Dealer Group that has quite a few um, dealerships. Uh, King's Toyota, for example, is one, and we do a lot of work for them. It's probably been 20 years I've been doing work for them. Uh, great people, and just over the years, we've done some other kind of small restaurants and stuff like that. Brandon, what, what separates your company from others? Uh, we're a father-son duo. We've actually been called the father-son painting dream team <laughs> by some of our customers. Um, yeah, we don't use subcontractors. Um, so when we come look at the jobs, that's who's going to come and do the complete the job for you if we if we get the job. Um, that's one of the one of the things that separates us from other painting companies. You know, when we show up. We're the people that's going to be working on the job. We won't just have someone you haven't met before showing up that 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 doesn't really know about the job. So that's a still photographer. I used to try to solicit a lot of jobs. I realized a long time ago that it's hard to get those jobs and have people pay fairly because everybody can take pictures. Right. Kind of in, in your business too. Everybody thinks they can paint. Some can. Why, why should people contract with someone to do painting? It's, it's a, you know, getting up on the ladders can be dangerous if you're not used to doing that. Um, you know, if you're not used to, to the ladders, also just having the right tools to succeed on the job. You know, that's always a big part too. If you don't have the right stuff, it can actually make it quite hard to, to do the job. So that's another good reason. And we're just very experienced. Um, my dad he's come across about everything and you know I'm trying to do the same thing and just learn as much and you know when you know what you're getting into before it's a lot easier to to get the job done so you know if, if, if you're a homeowner trying to do the painting yourself you may get in over your head um, so yeah I mean that's one of the reasons I'd say 
I mean, I don't know if that was a good answer, but no, that is. <laughs> okay. Get okay. yourself in over, of over your head or on yeah. the, on the on, lawn on your back on the lawn. Yeah. 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 Scott, what else would you like to tell viewers about your company? And yeah, we've uh, basically just focused um, on the painting part of the business. Um, put our effort into uh, preparing it right. Uh, knowing certain situations, the, what to do. Um, we really don't do anything other than painting, you know, drywall patching, plaster repair, stuff like that. We just focus on that and we do what we are experienced with in that way. So, well, thanks you two for being here with me today. And I think it was a great story. Hopefully, it's a great story because of the building and uh, being part of their preservation of this real iconic historic building in Loveland that there's not too many left and this is one that's been taken care of gently and kindly and you're part of that now yes. so thank you so Glad much to be for a part of it yeah, thank, yeah. You. thank, thank you, you Dave we really appreciate the opportunity for you coming out and talking with us today oh you're very welcome I'm very excited to come here and meet you for the first time yes. in person yes. so, so super so thank you both thanks again thank you Loveland magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous or of move to loveland.com. Please like and subscribe to the Loveland Magazine YouTube channel so you never miss a new video.